movies have always been an escape from our everyday lives. Through cinema, we have been heroes, underdogs. Death is a primitive concept. I prefer to think of them as battling evil in another dimension. In another dimension? How many left? Including yourself? Yeah! Look. And world-class thieves. We have traveled the galaxy and survived countless missions. One area that continues to draw our attention is space, other universes, galaxies, and life forms. My name is Julian Rodriguez. Join me as we journey through time and take a look at the science fiction genre. The oldest sci-fi movie recorded would be George Melies' film Trip to the Moon in 1902. This movie opened the doors to a world that has been untouched on film. A world filled with battles, futuristic technology, and eye-catching effects. This soon gave birth to movies like The Lost World, Woman on the Moon, and the ever-popular Metropolis in 1927. Metropolis had quite a few things to say about what was going on during their day, including the rise of fascism and the American labor movement. This movie has inspired countless others to pay homage to it. For instance, this became this. Later, films came out which looked like a space version of a western, Good Guys vs. Bad Guys. One such movie was Flash Gordon in 1936. This movie was originally based on a comic strip and was a serial and later edited into a movie. Sci-fi gained many followers during what was called the golden age of science fiction in the 50s. The Cold War started in 1947, ushering in a generation that is paranoid about the Soviet world and birthing movies such as The Day the Earth Stood Still and The Thing from Another World. Feeding off of people's paranoia and fear of what was to come of communism and advanced technology, these movies showed us the dangers of technology when left to the hands of power-hungry species the need to curb our desire to destroy ourselves and everything around us, and the results, the weaponry and technology we have, will affect our current surroundings. We also see the dangers of technology displayed in movies like 2001 doors, Space Odyssey in 1968. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. Sci-fi also attacks the moral issues of political society. In 1971, a student by the name of George Lucas writes a screenplay called THX 1138, which brings to light the dangers of the coming age when our Orwellian government has assumed the role of micromanaging every aspect of our lives. Erratic visual behavior. Transfer control information. Current brainwave confirmation on 1138, adrenal off 0.74, analyze severe. Other movies later go on to show us that no matter how much technology we have, we are still primitive in our nature. The desire for power and the need to destroy all who stand in our way. Sci-fi has and will continue to capture the minds of audiences and remind us not to get too big for our bridges. As long as there are secret fears and technology advances, sci-fi will never fade away.